Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be introducing an impressive open source model for text summarization called BART. It is a powerful tool designed to make text generation and comprehension more efficient and accessible. So in essence, we will be looking at an open source solution for text summarization in order to reduce cost. Imagine having to sift through countless articles, documents or reports to extract key information. It's a time consuming and often daunting task. This is where BART comes to the rescue. BART which stands for bidirectional and autoregressive transformers is a state of art model that excels in text summarization. This model is pre-trained on a vast amount of English language data and fine-tuned on the CNN Daily Mail dataset. This makes it exceptionally good at condensing lengthy articles into concise summaries. Now we'll look at some of the relevant uh, real-life use cases for text summarization. So first of all, we'll look at business efficiency. In the business world, time is money and BART can save valuable hours by quickly summarizing reports, news articles and other lengthy documents. This allows professionals to focus on decision making rather than data processing. Next, we have healthcare assistance where BART can assist medical professionals by summarizing patient records or medical research papers ensuring they have the most critical information at their fingertips. Further on, for students and researchers, BART can simplify the research process by summarizing academic papers, helping them grasp essential points without getting bogged down by details. And last but not the least, customer insights where BART enhances customer feedback analysis by summarizing customer reviews, allowing businesses to quickly identify key trends and sentiments without reading through every individual review. So these were the few use cases, but the list is not exhaustive. Now we will check the specifications for this open source model on the Hugging Faces website. So this is the page on the Hugging Face website which has an introduction to this open source model. To be specific, the name of the model is BART Large CNN and it has been named so because it has been fine tuned on CNN Daily Mail dataset. Apart from this, we find the link to the paper in which it was discussed. The name of the paper is BART Denoising Sequence to Sequence Pre-Training for Natural Language Generation translation and comprehension and if you want to get a deeper understanding of the workings of this model then you can uh, go and read this paper and if not then you can also go to the repository where it was first released the link to the repository has also been provided here you can find the code and some technical details about the model and some example usage as well if you want to integrate it into your own code by forking the repository Okay. Apart from that, a little bit of description about the model is also given that it is a transformer encoder decoder that is a sequence to sequence model with a bidirectional BERT like encoder and an auto regressive GPT like decoder. And also it has been mentioned here that BART is particularly effective when fine tuned for text generation. By text generation we mean summarization and translation tasks. But it also works well for comprehension tasks as well like text classification and question and answering. Then we have a guide about how to use this model. Okay, so this model is to be used with the pipeline API from the transformers class and uh, the example usage is given here and then we have the citation. This was the model card. Apart from this, we have few other information as well like how many times this model was downloaded last month. You can see the number is quite huge. So quite a lot of people are already using it for tasks like summarization and translation. And since it is open source, so it is free of cost as well. Although there is a trade off between quality and cost, but uh, in small use cases where the summarization task or translation task is not to be done on 
a very large set of text the open source model are more feasible option for people who don't want to go and use the cloud based services apart from that we have the model size uh, information as well it states that it has 406 million parameters and if you'll just expand it here you will see the different uh, position weights and layers in the model they have been listed down in here which leads to those 406 million parameters okay and under the inference api section here there is an option to see this model in working but for that you will need to log in okay and uh, you can see uh, this text being summarized then and then it also mentions the data set that was used to train this model that is the cnn daily mail data set you can have access to this as well okay and then there is some information regarding the website particularly spaces which are using this model currently you can see that like there are 80 plus spaces which are using this particular model and then we have the evaluation results as well apart from that you also get the option to train your own model and deploy this one or use this model in your own um, code as well and you have the option to clone the repository from here only so these all options are there then you can check out the files and versions for this particular model that has also been listed and the community support page is also there so um this was all about the introduction to this particular open source model now we will look at a demo created by my colleague where we see it in action so this is the demo we have created to showcase the functionality of the model in the ui you can see that in the input we have provided a paragraph that needs to be summarized and on clicking summarize the summary will be generated at the back end we are using the same model that we discussed which is bart large cnn now you can see that it does take a little bit longer to create the summary but uh, this is the trade off between the cost and quality and time when using open source models so as compared to the cloud based solutions they are a little slower open source models and uh, in the use cases where you know the text is not really large like if it is a customer review or something like that which needs to be summarized and time is not of the essence basically if you have a few minutes to spare in those cases you can go for open source models that would be more feasible you don't need to pay extra it's just that if you have gpu if you have the memory and ram that is required to run these models then you don't need to pay extra to use that service you can just integrate directly into your existing applications or in your code and uh, start working with it but in case if time is of the essence and you like really want the summary to be generated in a matter of seconds then obviously the best option to go for would be the cloud based services for which you need to pay So now we see that the summary has been generated for our input and it approximately took 1 minute 40 seconds to do so and for example let's say if the input was reduced in size let's say if we just took this second paragraph in here as the input to the summarization model then the generation of the summary would have been a little faster like it would have taken approximately 15 to 20 seconds and if the text was even larger than the text that we are currently uh, having as an input then uh, the time would have increased obviously so this is the scenario of the time with this particular model and if your text that needs to be processed or summarized is not that large or if you have time at your hand like if you don't really need the real time summaries and you can wait for a minute or two then i think this particular model would be fine and very feasible to be used and you can choose to integrate it into your existing applications or in your own code or you can reach out to us if you are interested in implementing this model or need assistance with similar projects 
we are here to help you you can contact us via our email id which is contact at the rate codazarts.com or you can visit us on our website which is www.codazart.com in the description box you can find our linkedin instagram and facebook handles and you can reach out to us from there as well and most importantly thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe we will cover more such open source models in the upcoming videos. Thank you.